Turns out I'm consumerism. Hey friends, happy Sunday and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I was like, let's do a haul. And then I came face to face with a really uncomfortable reality, which is I have a problem. I think the joke is that I actually do recognize the thought process and rhetoric that goes on in my psyche and it goes a little bit like, I'm literally so sad. Oh, why? Because I'm spending my 20s in the midst of a fatal global pandemic that part of the population is protesting against because they're more concerned with their own lives than to face the scientific facts that thousands of people are dying every day and we have no cure for it. And we're not even going to mention marginalized lives in this imaginary psyche because it would be creating a memification of real and at-risk lives, but there's a link in my description to offer your support. And the earth is dying, and while I know that the real perpetrator creating irreversible damage to the only place in our universe that is feasible for us to survive is in these large corporate companies, I still feel particularly at fault as I am aiding them with my buying power. Interesting. And also Kanye is running for president. Oh, that one's new. Yeah, so I've been, um, I've been sad. Well, maybe you should buy something. What? Okay. Did we like that? Did we like the skit? So anyways, here's a skincare haul. <laughs> Let's start with drugstore products. I have two boxes full um, because Again, I don't have control. First thing I did was grab this. This isn't one of my other skincare videos. It is my favorite micellar water and I just need to re-up because I did not have any more. I use CeraVe as my lotion anyway without the influence of TikTok, just the influence of consumerism. It is the Renewing SA Lotion for extremely dry, rough, bumpy skin. That really, that really, I don't know why, but that really came for me for some reason. Alrighty, another thing that is TikTok influenced. Oh my God, I missed the whole thing. It is for fungal acne, which I've learned is not actually acne, but I do have some bumpiness and acne type bumps on my forehead. So I decided to buy this because the kids on TikTok told me to. And if the kids on TikTok tell me to, I will do it. Whatever they do, I will do it. I bow down to the kids on TikTok because I want to live vicariously through them. They are so cool and I am so very not. I bought this, it was for fungal acne, but technically it is actually um, an, words. It's an anti-dandruff shampoo. Even if it doesn't work on the fungal acne, I do be having dandruff. What else did we get? So I also got this from Choppers. It is the Pixie Vitamin C Tonic. Um. It is a big fat no for me. It has such an orange scent that I might just repurpose it as like an essential oil and just like plop it into like a diffuser because this scent goes crazy and it is not a scent that I want on my face. Next is Desium. Desium is also like super hyped on TikTok. I mean, I bought products from Desium way before, long before TikTok. I've never found much success I got three face products from The Ordinary. Two of them are TikTok influenced. <laughs> surprise, surprise. I got the Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1%. I don't love the texture because it is kind of sticky. But I have it and I use it and it's it's fine. Glycolic acid 7% toning solution, pH about 3.6. All over TikTok, literally everywhere. I'm trying not to use it very often because sometimes when my skin is feeling particularly sensitive, it hurts me. Even so slightly upset my skin and I put this on it, it will freak out. This one um, I purely bought because I needed like eight more dollars to get free shipping. <laughs> this is the Ordinary Plant Derived Squalene. And when I was reading about it, it said that it's really good for moisture, which a girl needs because the hydration levels on the skin is not killing the game. It was a spur of the moment purchase that paid off greatly. Amongst these, I recommend this. I like it. We all know I'm Glossier. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like the Apple effect where I just, I need it. I can't do society without it. That is Glossier to me. I re-upped on some bomb.com that I talked about in my last video. I've tried most of the flavors at this point, but this rose one slaps. Uh, I also re-upped on the Generation G in Cake. This is like, if I had to pick one makeup product for the rest of my life, 
No, yeah, it would be this one. And then I got some new stuff. So I got this priming moisturizer. Bleh. I enjoy it. I think I need the extra hydrating and moisture before I put on some makeup and this does that for me. So I did get some makeup stretch concealer from Glossier. Packaging A+. Yes. <laughs> this is the Skin Perfecting Tint. I got it in the same color as my concealer. My thoughts? No. Oh yes. Oh dear. Oh yes. Oh dear. I've been hearing about Paula's Choice for maybe the last six months, maybe. They also love Paula's Choice on TikTok, and therefore, if the TikTok kids love it, I... I like to believe I will too. That is my hair in that box. So I wanted to get a sunscreen because I thought this pandemic would be over by now. It's not. I like it. I like that it's non-greasy and does not leave a white cast. And it is ideal for sports and outdoor activities. Don't need that during quarantine as I don't go outside and I have never participated in sports. But I like it. I like it. We have the Clear Pore Normalizing Cleanser. It is for blemish prone skin, which I've been experiencing this quarantine, which is why I bought it. My pores, disgusting. My blemishes, my, my blemishes, my blemishes, my blemishes, they're popping up and I don't love it. It's a gel cleanser, not bad. This, okay, my whiteheads, uh, they just, they wanted to say hello so badly, all of them, like every like 500 of them, they just wanted to come out and say hello this quarantine and they did. I see all those whiteheads and blemishes, they don't make me happy. They don't spark joy. This, however, the joy, it's been sparked. I think it was the first day I started using it. Magic. Last on the block is Sephora. TikTok told me to buy this. They said, you have bumpy skin? Yuck. I use this twice a week, um, mostly on the boom area and uh, just on my the back of my arms here because uh, they do get bumpy. I'm a human being. I don't have the perfect skin. Very great. I'm happy TikTok recommended this to me. I've had my eye on Summer Fridays for quite a while. Of everything I've purchased, I'm positive this bottle that is the size of, tube the size of my middle finger basically, cost me more than it should. I can't remember what it was. I probably deleted it from my brain because of how painful it was. I try not to use it every day because like I said, it should be expensive. It is quite thick. It is a thickums but very good. And then for lips. Girl got chapped lips, what can I say? I got this Bite Beauty Agave, oh, vegan maybe? Vegan. It is a mini scrub and sleep lip duo. Good God, it's tiny. I haven't used it yet. I, I recently just got this in the mail. How cute. Wow, this packaging is beautiful. Wow. It's like a vanilla, vanilla sugar type smell. I adore that. Okay, cool. I also got this from Kosas. Kosas? Kosas. Someone put me on. Someone who like heavily influenced me through an internet screen, TikTok, a YouTuber, someone did. And they said, buy this. And I went to Sephora and I was like, yeah, 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 no, you convinced me. Okay, this is in the way. I'm so sorry. Has that been in the way the whole time? I'm not gonna redo it. Okay. Alrighty. Ooh, no scent. It's minty. Uh, I don't know if that's good for me. I just don't like having chapped lips. So I buy these because I, I, um, no reason, just capitalism. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like it, make sure to give it a like, please. And if you super liked it, make sure to subscribe. Please subscribe. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you on another Sunday. Cheers.